All right, so this is apparently a, an old JavaScript thing. Here we go. What is the point of no continue rule? The official ESLint doc says when used incorrectly, it makes code less testable, less readable, and less maintainable. Does Airbnb agree with the above reasoning? If so, can you give an example of how continue makes code less testable and maintainable? I'm not arguing against it, by the way. I just want to understand why. I know this is from 2016. This is practically, this is eight years old, but I'm trying to understand why, okay? What the hell does this even mean? Uh, continue, like break, is go to. There are countless articles on the internet about GoTo being harmful. Hold on. In addition, this style guide discourages loops. You know, I always heard Airbnb was stupid. This weird push in JavaScript to only use array iterators, which a ton of them, they're not, first off, they're not even iterators, okay? Most of them just copy arrays. You create a bunch of memory. It It's like drastically slower than, than using just regular loops. You can actually, I actually had a command light tool, I kid you not, for Netflix, where I did all the right things and used a bunch of these these for each loops and all that, I went and just decided one day, hey, I'm just going to try replacing it with a bunch of like, f you know, four let I, because it was actually pretty slow because I had to go over millions of lines of data. I kid you not, it sped up my program by several seconds removing four each's and just doing regular old fashioned missionary meat and potato loops, boomer loops. It is absolutely crazy. Just give me the iterator. I don't want more code loops. I know. And so it's like, isn't that wild? And by the way, uh, for, for those that don't know, this is actually a reference to, I believe, uh, Dijkstra, right? Am I correct on that? It isn't Dijkstra, the one that wrote go to being harmful, but it was actually not the way that he, this has been like one of those largely misunderstood articles, just like uh, premature optimization is the root of all evil, which is both a misquote from a biblical verse and B, a misquote from the person who originally said it. It's a double misquote, uh, which is that premature optimization by dipping down into assembly is considered a bad idea. I'm using missionary loops from here on out. Yeah. And so like that was the idea behind the, the uh, what's it called? The premature optimization is don't go to assembly. Because if you go to assembly, you're probably going to be wrong on what you're what you're attempting to do. Like, only wait to the very end to go to assembly. How funny is that? It, it double misquotes cancels it out. Anyways, it's just like these kind of takes. I'm going to give you like a quick thing here. As if you're new to the industry and you don't know what's happening, when someone says you shouldn't use regular loops because they're bad, because they're because they're error prone or because of this, try to come up with a reason why they're saying this. Try to understand why this is happening. Don't just simply think they're stupid or they're right. Try to understand why. Now, I am not a big fan of GoTo. We actually looked at some code yesterday with GoTo. In fact, Doozy, who's in here today, was talking about why this was actually not a, a very bad usage of the word GoTo because it was using C plus some automated memory cleanup, which I'm not saying is wrong. But here's the deal. Shai Rai, I agree. They actually are kind of, they are kind of stupid, okay? <laughs> but real talk. If you don't know why someone is saying something, learn why first. This is this is called the Chesterton's Fence Principle. If you're not familiar with Chesterton's Fence, effectively the easiest way to put it is that you come across a fence that's just like in the middle of a field or a middle of a forest or a middle of wherever it's at, and you don't know why there's a fence here. The, there's no purpose to the fence. It's not even like that big. You can just walk right around it. So let's just take down the fence, right? Well, no. The thing you should do is find out why was the fence put there in the first place, and then we can talk about why we should remove it afterwards. And so when someone says something like this, understand why and then understand if you should or should not listen to them. Honestly, you will be a much happier developer in five years because you took a little bit more time. I don't care if this person is a TC39. I think I think TC39, being on TC39 or, or not does not help at all, right? So apparently this person is, well, I still think that this statement is stupid to begin with. So there you go. Like, I fundamentally think that his take is bad. So there you go. I, you know, that's me. Okay. I don't care. I don't care if this man is Lord JavaScript, who, who is the benevolent dictator of all JavaScripts in the universe. I can still think his opinion is stupid. So there you go. Well, he did get 96, 196 dislikes to six a thumbs up. Yes. So I just want you to, I just want everybody to remember this moment and to think about it that way which is just because somebody says something, no matter how much, like now we're actually appealing to authority. This guy's actually on TC39. Maybe he's a really great TC39 member. Maybe he's made many great contributions to the language of JavaScript. All these, for those that don't know, TC39 is the language committee to help shape the future of JavaScript. Let's say all those things happen. Absolutely awesome. Can still be wrong on an opinion, right? It does. I can be wrong on opinions all the time. Like you've watched me long enough to know that somebody who's been programming a long time has several bad opinions. And that's okay, 
People are going to hear what I'm saying right here and go, oh, you actually have the wrong opinions. I think he's right. And that's fine. Go for it. I just don't think so. <laughs> that's me because I have made too many command line utilities, and I'll tell you this much, break and continue are extremely useful, okay? If you have a four, if you have an array that's longer than like 20 items, can you imagine iterating the whole gosh darn thing because you didn't want to use an effing loop? Yeah, that sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Imagine using map and copying the whole gosh darn thing because you didn't, you know, oh, I didn't want to, you know, I just I accidentally used map instead of for each. You know how many times I've actually seen people accidentally use map instead of for each and dis disregard the result? Like, it's crazy, okay? There's plenty, you can still fuck on yourself and do stupid stuff, especially people that are new. People that are new just have no idea what's happening, and that's okay because they're new. That's how all new people are.